Hey guys, 4360 here, and today I'm just going to give you a little tip on how to make your your old Ford FE motor run. Specifically, this one is in a 360. Now, this part right here used to fit onto our intake like so, and would sit over this pipe, which is connected to our exhaust manifold. Now, I removed that because on the inside of here, there's a flap, and that air, when the engine is breathing just through there, it's pulling air up through here, and it's all coming up from the exhaust manifold, and it's not much air because of it. Now, that seriously hurts performance and fuel economy. So, I removed it. Now, immediately there was a difference in how it ran, but uh, the thing you might have to think about, though, is since you're going from extremely superheated air that's in low amounts to a bunch of cold air, you might have to mess with your carburetor settings to get it to run right. I did notice mine, my truck was running a bit off when I was driving it the other day. So you might have to rejet it because of the extra amount of air, or you might not. You might already have it pretty tuned well, but that's just what's going on for me. So. Yeah, and it's really easy to remove these because there's only two bolts that hold them on, just right here, and then practically already have a cold air intake, as good as this is going to get at least, and you can see the the air filter in there, and it worked, ran great, just always if you see this and you plan on using your car or truck and it's got this set up on here, get rid of it not breathing well and this might even be a heat actuated deal on the bottom that's just not working that's supposed to close because it definitely doesn't like to start cold but with that hot air I imagine it does help but once it gets hot it doesn't need that anymore so you look into that I guess you could maybe make a cable that pulls that down to get the cold air once it's nice and warm and you're ready to go and you're ready for the power and not the uh just to hot air to heat up but yeah and I just decided to make this little video to show you guys a little tip for how to get a little bit more efficiency out of your old FE motors not that there's much to be had to be honest <laughs> but anyways thank you for tuning in and I'll see you next time